Well, hey there, everybody. It's Ashley. Welcome back to my channel. Today, I am thrilled to be joining Pink Fresh for their washi stamp and die release. This release is really fun because we've got lots of these washi tapes with coordinating stamps and dies. This first one here is the Floral Clusters Washi. This is the Rainbow Washi. Then we have the Eucalyptus Fantasies Washi and the Watercolor Frames Washi Tape. The next two are thinner and smaller. So we have the Watercolor Washi and then the Matte Gold Washi Tape here. Be sure to go to the link in my description, which will head you on over to my blog post, which is part of the hop. And be sure to leave a comment for your chance to win $25 to the shop. Pink Fresh is also giving away their entire washi release over on their blog, so be sure to check that out as well. Here are all of the stamps and dies that coordinate. Now each of them have a washi tape that they coordinate with. This one here is the Floral Cluster Set. It has a stamp and a coordinating die. And on the back of the die uh, packaging, you can see that it goes with this Floral Clusters washi tape. And here you can see it's over on the left. And once you lay this out, you'll be able to use that coordinating die to actually die cut that from the washi tape. So I've got this piece of paper here that is eight and a half by five and a half, which is exactly half of a standard letter size piece of cardstock. Now what I'm gonna do is just pull this washi tape and make sure that it goes on easily and flat without any lines or bubbles. And I'm just going to lay it on there. It works really easily. And then I'm going to use a bone folder and I'm going to use the flat edge of it, the long edge, and just run that along my washi tape to be sure that I don't have any bubbles or wrinkles in the tape. And this will allow me to have a nice sturdy base for this washi tape. And then I'm able to do some die cutting or stamping if I'd like. So what I'm going to do is use that floral clusters coordinating die and just die cut that image on the left side since it's coordinating. You'll see that I also have that wreath there to the right and that is coordinating with the floral elements, stamps, and dies. So I'm going to use two dies, the outer edge die for that wreath and there's also a die that goes on the inside of that wreath that you're able to cut out from the center. So you don't have to cut the center of the wreath out but you have that option. I do want to mention here that since I'm going to be putting tape on these dies to make sure that they don't move around in my die cutting machine, I do want to put one on either side. Now the washi tape is a little bit slippery or the surface itself is a little slick. So I want to use more tape than I would normally use. So I use one on one side and one on the other, or else I did have some sliding issues with the dies. So I would highly recommend putting lots of tape on there to make sure that you don't get any movement. Once I go ahead and put that through my die cutting machine, you see I've got these really wonderful uh, two elements that I can use on different cards. Now, if you wanted to, of course, you could stamp these and color them in separately, but I really love the colors of these washies and how it all coordinates together. So I liked the option of cutting them out from the washi tape. I'm going to be putting this card together. I'm going to use the floral clusters uh, image that I've die cut out of the washi tape coming in from the bottom left hand corner of my cardstock. To adhere this to my card front, which is actually cut to four by five and a quarter, just slightly smaller than an A2 size card base, I am going to use foam tape and this will give it a little bit more interest and dimension. When you're looking at the actual card, you'll be able to see the dimension that it gives from just if I used tape or glue to glue it onto the card front. And since I'm keeping this really simple, that dimension will really help with the design of the card itself. Because I used foam tape and it's hanging off quite a bit, I'm going to just go ahead and trim all of the excess off. And I'm able to do that just by turning the card around and seeing exactly where the edges hit. And then I just go ahead and run my scissors and cut all of that excess off. I'm deciding which word fits best on this card front now, which is oftentimes how I decide which sentiment I'm going to use for a card. It always happens to be sort of an afterthought to me, but the font in this stamp set is so beautiful that it actually ends up being the star of the card. 
So I'm using the word grateful and I'm just going to stamp that in Versafine Onyx Black Ink, which is my favorite ink to use for sentiments. And I'm just going to stamp that right above that floral cluster image that we have. And I called it a day after that. I went ahead and put some gems randomly around and then adhered it to an A2 size card base. And I just love how simple this card was to make and how eye-catching and beautiful it is. It looks like it took me forever, but because of the washi tape, it was done in just a few minutes. I'm going to move on now to a different way that you can use your coordinating elements with these washi tapes. So I'm using the Eucalyptus Fantasy Washi Tape Die and Stamp Set. And as I said before, on the back side of the packaging for the coordinating dies, you can see the washi tape and exactly what it cuts out and which parts or which washi tape coordinates with those dies. So I'm doing the same thing that I did the first time. I'm just flattening this out on a piece of cardstock and I ended up or I realized beforehand I really just wanted these elements. So to save a little bit of cardstock and washi tape, I just used half of that cardstock that I cut there. So again, I'm using my bone folder just to make sure that this is flat on my cardstock. I'm going to run an X-Acto knife or a craft knife right along the edge and it cuts out really easily. And then I'm going to place this in my Misty. And I'm going to use the coordinating stamps just to match up with the lines on the image on the washi tape. So by doing that, I'm able to stamp over it and make it look like I've stamped this image when really all I did was coordinate or match up this stamp with the image on the washi tape. I'm using Versamark ink to stamp this directly over the washi tape image and I'm going to use some gold embossing powder. Now the outline of the image on the washi tape does have a bit of a gold sheen, but by embossing it, it's going to make it a lot more pronounced and you're going to be able to see the shine a lot better. I'm going to heat this or set this with my heat gun, but I want to make sure that I leave a lot of space between the heat gun and the washi tape. The heat will melt the washi tape if you get too close or if it's too hot. So make sure that you heat it up quite a bit beforehand and keep the actual heat gun away from the washi tape a little bit more than you would just a regular cardstock. So I went ahead and settled with my images coming up from the bottom and then down from the top. And I use that grateful word again because I love the font and I stamped that in the center of the two and then used my gold embossing powder again, just to make sure that everything coordinated. And I really love the way that this one came out. I cut the cardstock down to three and three quarters by five inches, which gave me a really nice border around the entire perimeter of the card front. The next way I'm going to use this washi tape is by creating a gift wrap with a coordinating tag or card. My friend Justine Hovey gave me this idea quite a while ago, and I really loved the idea of having a gift that stood out as handmade because it coordinates both with the gift wrap and the card. To create the gift wrap, I just put this washi tape over some plain white gift wrap, just like you saw me do with the cardstock. And then for the tag, I used some nested circle dies to cut out from a metallic gold piece of cardstock, and then the next size down from a white piece of cardstock, and then adhered them together. For the coordinating piece, I'm using a, you could use a stamp or a piece of the washi tape and I use the floral clusters washi tape just die, die cut out that duo of flowers there and then adhered that to the tag and I think it gives it a lot of personality when it's homemade and it matches and I just really love the way that this one came out. I hope that you've enjoyed learning a bit about how you can use your coordinating washi tape stamps and dies from the newest pink fresh release. As always, all of the links to the products are in the description as well as the link to the blog hop where there are lots of prizes to be won. Thanks so much for stopping by. I'll see you again soon.